grand rising good day and good night i hope you all are doing well welcome to my channel welcome to 144 from the stars to row we're gonna go ahead and give odin something tasty to eat thank you sir I think you missed a piece. He's like, I don't want it. I got what I really wanted. All right, my bad, sir. You go ahead, enjoy. Ignore the crumb. Let's go ahead and get started with your guys' reading. Let's see what spirit would like you guys to know. Jeez, we have judgment and the hermit. Damn. I'm really kind of getting the energy of someone that has just, like, conquered some kind of huge, crazy battle. By going within. Like, <laughs> I, 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 like, what I imagined was there's like dragons and fire and swords and just chaos and screaming, like complete war outside someone's house, right? Now, someone's like, quick, guys, I got it. So they go and they run inside their house. Now, everyone's wondering, like, why the hell are you running in your house? The battle's out here. Like, right? No, 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 not you. You understand. You understand what you hold within. Excuse me for hitting the camera. So, you go into your house, and you just sit there and you pray. You pray. That's it. It was that simple. You pray. People are wondering, what the hell are you doing? Grab your sword. Grab your... And you're like, I did. This, this is, is my weapon. My prayer. I was like, what? Are you fucking crazy? There's a dragon. You really want to sit here and... What are you, a monk? And you're like, no, I'm good. This is my sword. Namaste. And they're like, what the... F <laughs> like, looking at you like you're crazy. And then turn around. Dragons are gone. The fire is extinguished. Everyone no longer has swords. They have big baguettes of bread in their hand. They're confused. What just happened? The fighting just stopped. Yeah. Because someone went within... And prayed. I love this. I really love this. So I feel like the other the other way of understanding this energy is I feel like you have had some kind of big crazy situation in your life. And instead of like going in and maybe throwing some punches, exchanging some words, maybe filing some paperwork, maybe talking to police, maybe getting a lawyer, maybe suing, maybe doing whatever. Like instead of doing all that, you just went with it and you prayed. You set your intention out to the heavens. Heavens, this is my heart. This is what has been done. This is what I desire. Um, maybe you even understood like a, a simple like you even expressed some kind of humility to our father. You were like, you know, I'm, I can't handle this as well as you can, God. Because if I try to handle this, I must somehow disgrace myself or do something that wouldn't be as perfect as it is when it's done by you, God. Um, and maybe that was like very powerful and you didn't realize it. I feel like someone went within and surrendered a situation that's really hard to surrender. This could have been something that's personal to you, something that's hurtful, something that's like, you know, it's like that one thing like, you know, like you can you can tolerate a lot of things. But someone talk about this one thing and you might have to, you know check their mouth real quick it's this is one of those things and like as a man or a woman and i feel like this is a matter of love too you know love is strong so this is something that was really close to your heart there could have been people you cared about that were involved in this situation it could have been a mess i don't really know what this situation was what i do know is you handled it perfectly by surrendering it to the most high that was the best thing you could have done. And I know it might seem crazy. Like that imagery I said earlier. There's a whole war going on outside. Everybody's grabbing their helmet, their armor, their swords. They're hopping on horses. They're all charging into battle. And they're looking at you like, yo, what are you doing? You're like, I got this. I'll be right back. 
I need like five minutes with my with my tuning fork and my my singing bowl. And they're like, what the fuck? You can't home the dragons away. Get out of here. You're delusional. It's like, nah, y'all don't understand. This wouldn't even be going on if there was love within in the first place. They're like, you're fucking crazy. I'm going to go slay this dragon. I'm like, all right, calm down, Targaryen. I'm going to go in here and play it to the most high. And then that's what you did. You went in there and you ha- you handled your shit more like a boss than anyone else with their muscles or their sweat or their paperwork or their pins or their badge or their money. None of it fucking mattered. The only thing that mattered was someone had to care enough to reach out to the heavens and pray and surrender it to God. Say, God, please put this in your hands. Please allow your will to be shown, to be revealed. Let the truth come out. Let the bal- the scales be balanced. I am claiming your promise, God. That was it. The heaven said you rang. Oh, chirp, chirp. Purr. Okay. Look, what, what's going on down there? Oh, damn. Yo, you got dragons. You got, oh, yeah, watch this. Done. All you had to do was ask. It's it's really crazy when we really become empowered and enlightened. Like the most empowering thing is being enlightened, like uh, in alignment with Source and surrendering to Source, and then having the strongest, undeniable faith that that was the exact thing you were supposed to do. And people will get so upset. They'll look at you like you're illogical, like you're delusional, like you need to wake up in the real world. Like you can't just, you can't just use your intuition. You got to do your research. You got to, you got to do this. And like, nah, I mean, maybe that's what you got to do. But all I got to do is be like, hey, God, is this for me? I just listen. I shut the fuck up and I allow God to reveal to me the answer. Damn, I feel like you're really showing someone an example of like, this is how you really walk the talk. And I'm getting this, you're showing someone how you really walk the talk. And this is an individual that has talked the talk to try to discredit your walk. Not even understanding the fucking talk they're talking. Like, I can't stand like, you know what I'm talking about? Those kind of like ignorant individuals. Oh, this is the worst. We'll try to throw a damn book at you to condemn you to hell, but don't even understand the book that they're using against you. You understood it. All right. So it looks like uh, you get to leave some choppy shit behind and people are kind of mad at like, but you didn't, you didn't have to pick up your sword. You didn't fight back. You didn't have to sue me. You didn't have to get mad. You didn't have to stomp your feet. Why aren't you upset? Are I your enemy? (sighs) You're pathetic. (laughs) It's like, fuck. It's like, seriously? That's what these individuals have to do? Oh, wow. Blessed is he that lives in spirit and not of the world. I see you are an individual that truly understands what that means. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, it just is what it is. Try to hide itself. So I see you don't always show your hand. That is what has caused a lot of painful endings. That's what people don't understand. People will think you're not doing anything, but they don't understand. You're like cooking up a six-dimensional storm of like all types of whoop-ass, and they don't even realize it. And you're just doing it with my prayers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. people go understand it it's like all right you'll like go ghost like maybe you don't post on social media for a long time no one sees you out and about you've just been home you don't say anything you don't even go out you don't go out to parties or friends or events so no one knows what the fuck you're doing to them it's just like you disappear they don't have a clue you in there like interconnecting with dimensional beings you're connecting with the heavens you're speaking to angels you're like probably like doing shit they wouldn't even understand because you're just a new breed i guess like you're just you're something else in the world but not of the world so you not revealing your hand is something that's really got these people pissed off 
because they will f around and mistake your absence as an absence of you doing anything or accomplishing anything because you don't have to go out and celebrate your wins. You don't have to go on Snapchat or Facebook and be like, look guys, I just bought me a new Gucci bag with my freaking product. Print. Like you don't need to do that pathetic shit. <laughs> you don't <laughs> like at all. If anything, you would rather people not know because you understand most people are fucking snakes. So you just stay to your own little world. Like, hey, I just give it to God, and I'll continue to do my little thing in my little world, and I'm perfectly fine with that. And then people will go around, maybe they have an opinion, maybe they have an assumption, maybe they spread a word or two, and then some truth about you actually pops up, like, out of nowhere, like, bam, hello, here the collective is again. Oh, y'all didn't realize they've been in the hyperbolic grime chamber, and here they are, this hyperdimensional freaking sunbeam of, like, awesomeness. You all don't even know how to handle this. No one knows. They're like, what the fuck is this? And they're like, I am me. <laughs> like, you come out like a whole brand new you, and people don't know how to take it. And then it just makes them look and feel and just so much more stupid. Mm -hmm. I love this. This is literally like someone like all, all you need is your mind and your heart and your faith of that divinity within you. And you could conquer anything. I feel like people are starting to realize this about you and it's freaking them the fuck out. Like you got some like magical Merlin energy. They don't know what you're doing. I swear there might be like people that are trying to figure out like... Tell, tell me you saw him bringing goats over there or something. He must be doing something. They're like, no, you ain't doing none of that dumb shit. What the fuck? <laughs> the hell? You probably don't even eat meat. You're like, I love animals. I ain't doing no weird shit like that. I just tell God I'm grateful. <laughs> like, why y'all on this weird shit? Why are you coming out my front door like an angry mob? Like this a witch hunt? Y'all ain't never seen an earth angel before? Get the fuck out of here. Home. Did you just like do your little waft? You're like, ah, it's a witch. <laughs> like... Oh, this is great. Y'all are funny. The way you got people just like running around squabbling in this chaotic energy and you're just like, home. <laughs> oh gosh like i'm imagining you just like levitating through the town like all peaceful a glowing aura and everyone is like running from you screaming ducking hiding things are catching on fire people are blocking their windshields their shutters or closing the doors the blinds everything's getting barred up they see you like oh shit here comes gandhi like <laughs> He's going to fucking manifest us to be exposed. He's going to manifest our karma. We better run and hide in the shadows. I feel like someone is actually starting to like witness. Uh, it, it's not fun to be your enemy. Because you can do things that they can't even see or understand. And it's not even something you can counter. It's kind of like the joke of like trying to fight an invisible person. You can't even see. You're just swinging. You think you're just swinging at them. They're over here. They're just sitting there laughing at you, waiting for the right time to sucker punch you. <laughs> Such a plague. Like, oh my gosh. Like, interdimensional whack-a-mole with your enemies. I'm over here. Woohoo! Nope, I'm over here. <laughs> They're going crazy. They don't understand it. Oh my gosh, they're losing their minds, and I feel like you're just like, ha ah, ha, I'm having a good time. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> See, you got any more haters? Yeah. All right, so you're abundant, you're high vibrational, and you have caused some kind of major ending, and some kind of wheel of fortune has shifted, and there's like an outpour of judgment in your life. So all jokes, humor, fun aside, let's go ahead and try to get a little more serious, y'all. I'm sorry. This concussion changed my brain chemistry, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> okay, we've got this Princess of Wands. What about this? And then this Queen of Swords. Damn, yeah, people know not to... <laughs> 
for some of you, a, a Queen of Cups in particular knows not to take any kind of passionate action against you. Because if they do, your mind, your tongue, your intellect, it just meets them with death. They know it. Oh, this is a stubborn individual. Lord, have they tried it. And um, they've done the most with the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. They've probably done the entire deck of Tarot against you like 10,000 times over and over again. Any combination of energy, they've tried it. Oh my goodness, this person's probably cursed themselves and their freaking future generations trying to attack you. You're fine. You see things quite clearly. You got discernment. You're not worried. You just continue to give it to God. People don't understand that. The universe. So you're in alignment. You're in harmony with the universe. Um, you listen to the divine. You can be receptive of the divine. You could have a lot of um, passion, charisma. You could have a lot of intellect. You could have a very sharp mind. A very excellent, impeccable tongue as well. Oh my gosh. No. PG. Okay? No. I know what some of y'all were thinking. No. I was talking about speaking the truth. Okay? But yes, there may be a little bit of like some secret sauce you might know that people are curious about, but you don't ever give it up. Just a, a little side tea for some of y'all. I do feel like there is kind of that energy that people know you've got some kind of like secret power. I don't know. I feel like people know like you probably could really do some things that they haven't seen or experienced or felt before but uh they're not in your league and you're not the kind of person that like for many of you you could be like celibate as well um if you have been like retentive or celibate this is actually helping you like amass a huge aura and that like build up of sexual energy is actually enhancing your spiritual abilities Mm hmm. Yeah, something about how like attractive, how passionate, all this like, oh yeah, you're like a people. <laughs> look, wh why would you want to be an enemy to that? Why? Why would you? I mean, damn, we got the nine of cups, the ten of pentacles, the three of pentacles. I think people are actually realizing you're the your wish fulfillment. Your wish fulfillment. You got it where it's at. You know what's going on. You've unlocked something. You're tapped in. And you're safe and successful and protective. And anyone that comes against you meets the Ten of Swords. Bro, people don't want to be your enemy anymore. They're trying to figure out how they can be like you. How they can be with you. How they can get with you. How they can collaborate. Work with you. Get to know you. Learn from you. Observe you. And I feel like that that truth, that like um, perspective a community or a populace has on you is a lot of the reason why someone is flipping losing their shit. Because I feel like you really embarrass them. And they tried so hard to embarrass you. And I feel like you didn't even fucking do anything but be yourself. And it embarrassed them. Uh, this kind of feels like a little bit of like a different angle, but a part two of the last reading I did. It was like boohoo, cry later, or something like that. Yeah. If you resonate with this, you might resonate with the other side of that reading, because I was focusing more on how everyone else is uh, experiencing your power. <laughs> oh, yeah, it just. Some people are devastated. Some people are like, oh my gosh, I started hearing the, started humping me like a dog. Some people are like fucking like, this is weird. It is. It is weird. You got some people that like imagine shit about you. I guess you must be like very attractive. You must be very abundant. It's something about your energy. It's like, I don't know. The, these lower vibrational energies that have not, um, you know overcame those kind of impulses or desires you're a big temptation for them and it's really it's it's even more of a temptation because they know you never would <laughs> they know you never would and that's like makes it but i just want to know <laughs> it's like when someone tells you you can't have some they want to have it that much more it's interesting. All right. So we got also three queens out here. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. So apparently someone is really seeing you as, yeah, 
I, I really feel like you've got people kind of questioning themselves. Uh, people are a little kind of confused about how they feel. I feel like people don't really know if they want to hate you, if they want to be jealous of you, if they want to be infatuated with you, if they want to love you, if they want to lust over you, if they want to obsess with you, or if they want to be friends with you. Like, I feel like people are genuinely, like, emotionally confused with you. Because I feel like you just kind of make them feel everything at the same time. Like, you trigger all of them. I don't know if you understand what I mean, but you trigger all of them. You trigger all their light and all their dark at the same time. And it's got people like, I don't know what the fuck to do with this. This is overload. It's like spiritual overload. And it's because of how much light you carry. You carry so much embodiment of balance between your light and your dark. It has allowed you to ascend so freaking high that when you walk in the room, your light and your shadow irritates every fucking part of them. Their whole entire being is irritated in your presence. And some people kind of like that. Other people are a little uncomfortable about it. So you might be getting all kinds of mixed um, responses or energies from individuals. And if people are freaking acting weird or switching up or people are being inconsistent with their energy towards you, that is why. They don't even understand how they feel around you. It's kind of like, it's almost like, um, like it's addicting. Like you're a rush. You're a trip. Like your auric field gives them some kind of like, ah, uh, like they don't even, they don't get it. They don't understand it. They got to have more of it. They got to, and it, what it is, is because you embody so much of this light. Like I said, your light and your dark, it literally, in the balance of it, and like you just being ascended and so masterful and so high vibrational, you trigger every single aspect of this individual's existence and being. And that can be like kind of exciting for some individuals. Some people might kind of like that. Just saying. So, I mean, keep your boundaries up. Because it, it does kind of seem like, you know, a lot of people might be looking for some kind of like a little taste of the pie or something. But we're not giving any of that away. Not to them. Nope. Not no King of Cups. Not no Knight of Wands. Absolutely. I don't care how deep, how charismatic, how charming. Mm -mm. Nope. I don't care about that money neither. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so what else would you like the collective to know? <laughs> Gotta have it. <laughs> I feel like that's really what it is. People just see you as something they gotta have. They wanna have. They want, like, you're just, it really is. It's like, uh, and that's why it's so frustrating. They feel left out. Meanwhile, you are really just focused on yourself. And I feel like people admire that. They really admire how you just... You're not bothered or concerned with the things that everyone else seems to be. And you seem quite capable and content with yourself and your own individuality. You seem to have very strong boundaries. You seem to know what you're talking about, but not really have a need to talk about it. I feel like people like that. Because it like it feels so mysterious. They're like, what all do you have within you? Because you're not out to show. You're not out making. But like people can tell. And you may even be kind of like intentionally vague. And sometimes when you leave like, you know, people might ask, oh, how are you doing? Oh, you know. No, no, no. Or people might even try to like pick your brain a little bit and you just don't even entertain it. You're kind of like short with them. And like in a way they're offended, but in another way they're kind of like, some people might even be like kind of aroused by the fact that they're like being rejected. I, it's fucking weird. I'm picking up on a lot of weird energies for you guys. I don't know what's up with this reading. I guess this is like a how you guys are affecting people kind of read, how people feel about you. It's odd. It's almost like you're, you're, people kind of see you as like a challenge or like a game or something to figure out or like, but they can't. And these are like, I, I feel like, you know, let's say a player who's a, a real player's player. You know what I'm saying, player? Yeah, that kind of player. Plays all of them. Everybody knows this man, right? Comes across you, he can't play you. 
Well, now he's insecure because he can't play. Because he's player, player, player. And he can't play you? Oh, come on. And now he's annoying the hell, harassing you. Trying to prove his worth to you by saying he bagged you too and he can't. It's that kind of energy. It's like you're untouchable. You're out of reach. You're not within people's range. And that makes you very desirable. It's like you're kind of out of everyone's league. And that's how people are seeing you. Okay. Is there anything else you would like the collective to know besides it feels like um, people just want to have you in some kind of way? They want to have what you got. Yeah, Prince of Cups. There may be some like love offers or stuff like that around you. I don't know if you're interested in that. I don't know if I'm interested in reading on it, really, because that's that's your business. Right? Nine of Cups. Yeah, that's, that's really just what it is. It's the same energy I was seeing earlier is that... People ultimately, they see you as their wish fulfillment, but they also know you have very strong boundaries. They may feel like you have very high standards as well. They don't know if they might necessarily live up to those standards. And I do feel like some of the individuals I'm picking up on this energy are probably legitimate, decent quality individuals that might even be worth you considering. So I, I wouldn't go ahead and dismiss all of this energy there are some that like i i feel respectable elevated ascended energy that is genuinely interested in you if that's something that matters it is in the energy i do feel it i feel like a lot of people are just kind of in their head or confused because they don't really know if you're even into anyone or if you're even doing anything like that because it's like it seems like i feel like a lot of people see how you're showing up and it's like what could i offer them you know, like you love yourself, you are loved, you are abundant, you are passionate, you have strength. Like, what can I be? What can I be for you? You already are all those things for yourself. Well, maybe someone is realizing that you just want an equal. And maybe someone's trying to figure out, are they that equal for you? Could they give you what you're wanting or deserving? I feel like someone's really trying to figure this out. And I don't know. The way this kind of feels, maybe they are. Maybe this Nine of Cups and this Prince of Cups is your next little something something. I don't know. But that energy is definitely in the air. And someone is definitely in their head trying to figure it out themselves. Because they don't know. They trying to figure it out. They seen you and they're like, hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this reading here. If you like the way that I read, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate every single one of you. And if I have offended you, I am sorry. I'll see you on the next collective message.